My name is Adam Sandoval. This is my pal Scooter Trash, and we just did over a thousand miles in less than 24 hours. They call it the Iron Butt Challenge, and you're gonna ride along for the entire. Th Let's start it at the beginning of our day. Good morning, and welcome to today's vlog. It is 3:36 in the a.m., and uh, Scooter and I are loaded up. We are headed to Texas, and we plan on making some good time very fast. We are uh, going to do our first iron butt. So, um, wish me luck, man. I've never done an iron butt before. I think about 800 miles is most I've ever done in the day. We'll see if this uh, iron butt thing actually is fun or not. <laughs> Number one, we're at exactly 100 miles, and it is bloody cold outside. Yeah, we are at 48 degrees outside. Let me show you what I do with Scooter. So I leave this vent open for him. He's got fresh air, but I zip this vent up. And I close this down about halfway. He can still get his head out, but it helps keep a lot of the heat in there for him. That's how he handles the cold like this. If it gets below 40 degrees, then he goes into my jet. Another thing I want to show you while it's dark out is lighting, man. Almost all the accidents I've seen on the road have come from behind. If it's not somebody coming head on, it's somebody rear-ending you. So I've got these lights here, which are Harley Davidson. I've got inserts here. Here, which are Kuryakin. I got the LED Kuryakin tail light as well. Of course, I've got these bag extend that have extra light added into them. Altogether, it lights up the back of the bike pretty good. You gotta be seen out there. All right, that's it. Back to the road. Stop number two. I don't think it's getting any warmer out. In fact, it may even be getting possibly a bit colder. <laughs> but we're headed south. It's got to warm up soon. We are exactly 200, 275.1 mile into the trip so far and it is 8.02 in the morning. Back to the road. Stop number three. Count them. One, two, three. This is stop number four. Scooter just chowed some lunch. Could lay down here flat on the ground for about a half an hour and go another 450 miles. I'll catch you at the next stop. So this is what the iron butt challenge is all about. So the cool part is my boy Scooter here, he's getting the iron butt with me. Not minding one bit. Look at it, ready to roll. A while back I had talked about this gas cap on one of my videos and it ended up being a huge hit. And I actually turned the people on for the wrong company. It's this magnet right here in this cap. Never lose your gas cap. It just sticks to anything metal. It's rubber coated, it's safe. And I actually got it from Rick Rack and on my last video. I happen to say I got it from Old Jim. Truth is, I got it from Rick Rack. So we are a total of, so we are a total of 779.3 miles into the 1,000 mile iron butt competition. And this is officially gas stop number five. Okay, get up, come on, let's get, let this guy get some grass under him. Good boy, Roo. do your thing. So this, my friends, is what the iron butt is all about. Gas stations and pee breaks. Pretty interesting challenge. I got called out. I got asked. I didn't get called out. I got challenged to do the iron butt. So here we are. Come on. All right, buddy, you watch the bike. We'll be back. I need something to drink. And it comes down to the legendary choice Monster Red Bull, Red Bull Monster, Monster Red Bull, Red Bull. Today we're going to go with the Monster. All right. Went with the Monster this time, buddy. I don't think you're going to like that any better. Want some of that? Still, a, he's still fighting their energy drink. Okay, okay. I know what you want. Love the fact that this carrying case, the Pet Palace, comes with these dishes. Scooter likes it too. There you go, buddy. Something for you too, right? Stop 
stop number six. This will be my final gas stop of the trip. And let me tell you, what a trip it's been, man. We've gone from freezing cold this morning to good and hot this afternoon. So now the temperature is just about perfect and we are going to catch what I believe to be an amazing sunset. Been quite the run today. I am 26 miles short of the thousand mile iron butt daily run. But I think I'm gonna run a little bit past that. So I'll do one more check in with you after I make my final stop and I'll get you the final total of what we run today. But I'm gonna have to break the iron butt. I can't just do the iron butt. I, I think Scooter and I, Scooter, you up for it? He's up for it. We're gonna go ahead and break it. Get that thing. Good boy. He's still ready for more. That, my friends, is what they call an iron butt. And I wasn't alone. My man Scooter did it too. All right, so we couldn't just do an iron butt. Uh, we had to do a little bit more. I wanted to stop here because frankly, I just couldn't stand stopping at one more gas station and I didn't know what the lighting would be at home to document this. So I am literally two miles from the house. I did 1,102.3 miles to this point. And it is 9.06. Yeah, so that fast math don't hold me to it. I'm gonna say 17 and a half hours on the road. It's a long day, but we did it I'll tell you a couple things one. I don't know if this is the first time I've done an iron butt or not Never really documented or tracked it before this is the first time I've actually tracked it but I think this is scooter and I's first iron butt, but we probably come close a couple times is an iron butt difficult Yeah, it's not easy by far uh, not the most difficult riding I've ever done. I think the hardest part for me was between 400 and 600 miles. After I got past that 600 mile mark, kind of a second wind and it just, it went by really easy. I was able to actually do an extra 100 miles so I could do an iron butt plus 100. You know, my, not my type of riding though. This is not, this is not how I prefer to ride. I'll probably never ever do this again. Um, not because it was too difficult, just cause it's just a lot of time uh, and you joined with me staring at concrete, blacktop and gas stations. And that's not my type of riding. I like to ride either for a cause or for the culture. I like to meet the people. I like to taste the food. I like to see the local attractions. Those are the reasons I like to ride. So I would rather do less miles over more days and spend more time meeting people because to me, that's what this culture is all about. It's about the people. And when you ride like this, man, you just don't get the time to sit and talk to people. Uh, my trip was from uh, a couple towns north of Green Bay down to the far side of Paris. A couple detours, a couple back roads, just to add a couple miles, got us to that total. Uh, not bad, not bad at all for the day. Listen, if you all have any other challenges out there, like the Iron Butt Challenge, please comment down below. Tell me what those challenges are. Who knows, maybe I'll do your challenge next. Also, if you've got any great destinations or places we should visit or great roadside attractions, looking for a list of some extra places. So go ahead and start feeding me those. Uh, aside from that, please give this video a share. Let everybody know what an Iron Butt is and uh, what a day uh, traveling in the Iron Butt looks like. From my pal, Scooter, and I. Hope you all have a great day. I uh, remember, keep dreaming. Dream until your dreams come true.